Okay, to uh, demonstrate magic here mainly, the uh, we have set up two units, uh, two different opposing forces. For destruction, we have a giant, and for the chaos on the right here, we have a unit of chaos warriors and a chaos sorcerer lord. Now, I'll roll off to see uh, who goes first. Uh, giant gets four, and the warriors get three. So the giant will be able to move his uh, full movement. Which is eight inches, as he has no wounds. He can stomp up. Uh, there's no shooting phase. So he'll uh, attempt to assault, which he does easily, and he can go straight in. So first turn assault. And because it's his turn, he can do his multiple attacks. Now, uh, the giants have several attacks. Uh, the first one that we should use is the stuff em in me bag attack, which you pick one model and he's going to use the uh, warrior champion. And if he rolls a double, equal or more to double the wounds, so the wounds are two. So if he rolls a four or more, five, he grabs that model and stuffs him in his bag. Which is great because obviously the warrior boss, inspiring champion, has extra abilities over the, the regular warriors. Now uh, he can use his mighty club, and to do this we roll three dice, add the numbers together, and whatever the numbers come to is how many attacks he has. So that's six, seven attacks. So six, seven dice. These hit on threes and wound on threes. So the ones and twos get taken out. So that's two hits, wounds on threes, that's two wounds, so the warriors get to try and save, and they save on a four plus. So four, fives and sixes, and they save, ah, they do. Then it's the warriors that turn to pile in. So they get three inch move to pile in, so obviously they're going to try and get as many in as they can. So there's nine warriors, because the boss man's dead, and each of those warriors get two attacks each. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen attacks. They have hand weapons, so these hit on threes and wound on fours. So hit on threes, so the ones and twos come out. I think that changed over. Wounds and fours, so ones, twos, and threes come out. The 
giant can try and save those wounds on a 5 plus. So one save, but it took two, four wounds. So instead of uh, 12 wounds, he's now got 8. Okay. Well, the warriors took uh, one bottle damage, so they have to see whether they can beat their uh, bravery rolls in the battle shock turn. And because they have a standard bearer, they can add one to the rolls. In a battle shock, uh, roll a single dice, two, which is less than their bravery of six, so no problem. So he dies. Now the Chaos have their turn, so back to the uh, command phase at first so because the wizard is a commander and the uh, a wizard he can do his command abilities at first which will do inspiring presence because that's the only command ability he's got on the warriors in front of him and he will try to do a uh, magic spell now there's uh, the two basic ones that he could do or he's got his own special uh, magic spell which is called demonic power which allows a unit to reroll the ones for hits wounds and saves which sounds like a good deal to me so I roll two dice and try to beat or match or beat the casting value of five which I do I match it so that goes off uh, shooting phase uh, no one has any shooting weapons so we can skip over that uh, movement phase no one's moving uh, so into the uh, combat phase uh, they're there already so as it's the warriors combat turn they go first And they get uh, two attacks back, if you remember. And there's uh, nine of them, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They hit on threes, so ones and twos should miss. But because of the inspiring presence, we can re-roll, that's the demonic power, we can re-roll the ones. Uh, that's two, so that now fails. That's a two, that fails. And you can see there's a lot more hits. Now, wounding, there should be fours to wound. So fours, fives and sixes wounds. But again, because of that magic spell, we can re-roll the ones. So, one extra one hit, the twos and threes come out. So that's three, six, eight wounds against a giant. A giant can try and save these, and his save is a five plus. So fives and sixes, you can ignore those wounds. Otherwise, it doesn't look good. So two, four, six, eight. And he only had eight wounds left. So that is one dead giant. Avalover, because he 
has a special rule called timber. We roll off to see who gets the highest roll. So destruction gets four, chaos gets five. So chaos decide which direction he's going to fall. So they'll have him falling backwards where there's no chaos. Blades to wound. wound. Else he could have done some nasty smashing against the chaos. So that's basically how a full turn works with the magic in place. I hope that's useful.